good to be able to talk not on the podcast and not like, I feel like we're always with like a bunch of people. <laughs> so it's nice. I know there's been a million how-to bar spins out there and I'm sure there's been some of these, but I wanted to kind of talk about bar spinning both directions with both hands. If your left foot forward, you're gonna throw the bars naturally with your left hand. If your right foot forward, you're gonna throw the bars with your right hand. But I grew up throwing the bars with my right hand and I'm left foot forward. So I like, my natural bar spin is actually like an opposite bar spin. And when I started spinning, I started just doing it with my left hand, not really thinking much about it because I was super young and early to the game. So that's how I learned bar spins both ways. And I think I'm pretty good at talking about bar spinning both ways if you want to learn bar spins regular and opposite. So if you're doing a regular bar spin, this is why most people throw left foot forward left hand or right foot forward right hand. And when you throw it, the bike doesn't jiggle as much or move around. You don't have to pinch the seat as much. It's more of a, a straight up and down and you can hold the bar pretty much to halfway and then your other hand is right there when you let go. And then you have the hand and you put this one right back on. So it's just a quick boom. You can almost hold on the whole way. So it's actually much a way safer of a bar spin. It's just, and then when you're throwing right hand, left foot forward, or left hand, right foot forward, which is an opposite bar spin, you pop, flatten out, and then you actually pinch and throw. So your bike is a little bit more wobbly. So you have to learn how to pinch the seat a lot better. So people who can do suicide no handers and things like that, they can do this bar easier because you're really pinching the seat and you really let go. Like from right here to right here, you have no hands on the bars. So that's why this, that way of doing a bar spin is opposite and is the harder way. And I'm very thankful I learned that first. So I got to learn the, the, the easier way next. So you go right hand, left foot forward. That's where you have to pinch the seat. And right about here, you have no, no, no contact. So you have to really pinch the seat to keep it sturdy or the bike kind of falls away from you. So that's why, that's why left hand, left foot forward, you have pretty much control the whole way. And then when you're doing your opposite bar spin, left foot forward, right hand, you, you get flatter, more hunched over the bars, and you have to let go and pinch the crap out of the seat. So quick lesson on bar spins both ways. When I learned bar spins, I literally just did the half bar <laughs> over little dirt jumps when I was a kid. I would just half bar and it felt so cool. First time I like did something with the bike. So I don't know, that's what I did, half bar spin. And then eventually just threw it all the way around. You just put that hand. This is, this is my way of doing bar spins. I just, once you get to like 90, this hand's right here and you just flick it and it goes right into the other hand. So here's a slow motion on it. You go to right here, you put this hand right here and boom. There's only that little bit of time where you're not connected to anything, but once you get it down, it just feels so good. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change anything, but now knowing this is the easier way to learn bar spins and when you throw it with your left hand, but I'm glad I learned the opposites because now it's fun to be able to bar spin both ways. Is there one that you're actually more comfortable with or not? There, yeah, when I'm going straight and fast, I'm, my, my natural bar spin is the way I learned it. So left foot forward, my right hand, and that's, and that's like, would be my opposite bar spin but that's the way I like to throw it. The more I ride and the more I do left-handed bar spin straight, the more I understand why people learn it that way first because it is safer and it's like, you don't have to be in a perfect position. Me and Boyd were talking about it yesterday. We're like, when I bar spin a gap, I have to like pop, get flat and then do it, which, but when he's, he's like, if I'm in the air, I can throw the bar spin because he has that natural bar spin and he almost just can be in whatever body position, position he wants and he's holding the bar most of the way. I'm not good at them, but I'm working at them, like bar to grinds and bar to manuals and stuff. I, I would throw with my left hand because I can kind of throw the bars in the way up. But if I'm doing a step down gap or rail hop or anything, it'd be my right hand. And then depending on which way I'm spinning. So I'm all messed up with bar spins. I'm about to put these ones on. The greens, ODI come in every colors. Try these out if you haven't, I'm not kidding. These things feel so good, hashtag plug, but for real, these are the best grips right here. ODI long necks. I like the extra long ones too. Just take them out, WD-40, slide them on. They don't even gotta break in, they're good. Not many grips are good brand new, but these bad boys. What's the scariest bar spin you've ever done?
The scariest bar spin I've ever done is that uh, it's over a curb and then down like, I don't know how many big stairs into that skinny bridge. Because <laughs> if I messed that one up, I was dead. Like just jumping that thing was pretty gnarly and I obviously made myself bar spin it for some reason. Because it was really do or die. I have a handful of like kind of do or die bar spins, but that one was like biggest bar spin of my life with a curb at the top. And then you're looking down, you're just above a canyon and you're like landing in this skinny thing. So it's like, if I messed up, you just get worked. Did you ever have a thought about the boards breaking? I, in the beginning, yeah. I definitely <laughs> felt those out pretty hard. And then when I jumped into it, I was like, they're good. But that was that was a thought in the very beginning. I went under the bridge and looked. You did? Yeah. I would too. I would. It's old, but it's like thick, boys. And then there's, it's a sturdy bridge. Yeah. It was one of those that I I lived in the area and I walked around there so many times, I just kept looking at it. And it was not real at first and yeah. it started getting real. <laughs> and then it happened. Um, all right. Play the clip now. When some ODI gear, comment in the YouTube down below on what your scariest bar spin is or the coolest story you have on bar spins. We're gonna read them and pick a winner. Or two. Or two. Coolest story or craziest bar spin you've ever done or seen your friend do. Just something, something, some cool story about bar spins. Whatever it is. Win some grips. ODI, baby.